Hi, welcome to another lesson uh, for Scales and Beyond. Before we get started, you want to get your um, C major scale basic position. Okay, get this. It'd be a good idea to go ahead and uh, tune up your ukulele while you're at it. And then, so pause the tutorial, get your paper, tune up your ukulele, and then come on back. We'll get started in about a, about a second. Okay, <clears throat> so you got your paper. You call at least two. We're going to talk about the basic C scale and the basic position. This should be a review. Uh, if not, uh, well, actually, it should be because you learned it in uh, ukulele two course. Uh, but if it's not, then you definitely want to be taking notes on that paper that we that I showed you earlier. Okay. So let's check our tuning. G, C, E, A. Okay, so this is the basic position for the C scale. These are your four strings, G string, C string, E string, and your bottom A string. Okay, so the, the C scale is gonna go from C to C. That's ascending. So it's gonna go, and keep in mind, it's gotta go alphabetical. So, you know, that's a good way on how you can tell it, um, to proceed with your scale. So C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C. And always remember, after G B comes A again. So we're going to go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, <clears throat> before we even start, uh, if this is not comfortable for you, you need to look at the diagram. You need to notice that you got an open C, open E, open A, and, and then kind of decide on, what, on how you're going to go about this. So let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing finger per fret. First finger, second finger, third finger. Finger per fret. First finger, second finger, third finger. That's how I'm positioning my scale as I play. And then when I'm playing, uh, I'm using, it doesn't matter what finger you use to play. Thumb, first finger, middle finger, whatever finger you're comfortable with. At this point, the main thing is that you get these notes correct for the scale. That's the main thing. Okay, so if you're ready to move on, oh, keep in mind that as we do this lesson, at any point it gets unsmooth, unclear, uh, or you need a little practice, just pause the tutorial, uh, do what you have to do to get reasonably smooth, and then continue the tutorial. Don't just try to keep up, because as we go along, it just uh, gets um, uh, more elaborate on how we um, do the C scale, and you might get frustrated. So to avoid, avoid getting frustrated, pause it as soon as uh, it becomes um, a little challenging or not as smooth, smooth as you want it to be. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the C scale. I'm gonna do slowly, I'm gonna call it out. After that, you're gonna notice that I'll just call it the notes. So here we go, slowly so you can keep up. Open C, D, E, open E, F, G, open A, B, C, okay? So what I'm doing right now, from this point on, is I'm looking at the paper. So you should be looking at the paper too. If you have to look at your fingering, then you don't quite know the C scale, okay? That's why you wanna look at it first, get an idea of what you're gonna do, where the notes are, so, um, to be smooth. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that you, you kind of done your, your chord cock exercise concept lessons, but with scales. So in other words, you went from open E, C, uh, E, F, G, A, B, C. So without playing, you got your finger for your nose, then you start playing. Now, as we, as we're going to play it one more time, open C, D, open E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? Okay, that should have been pretty smooth. You don't have to do it that fa fast, but you should have got all the notes, okay? If, so we're moving on. We're gonna go to descending, descending. That's from C to C, so we're going backwards. C, B, open A, G, E, F, open E, D to C. Okay, descending, C to C. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Here we go. C, 
B, open A, G, F, open E, D, C. One more time. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay, so you want to be able to do that smoothly ascending, ascending, ascending that's going up and then descending going down. Okay, you don't have to do it that fast. The main thing is that you're smooth and you got the correct notes. No matter how slow you go, if you got to go really slow, just try to keep it smooth and even and get the correct notes. That's the main thing because playing fast, that's going to come in time. So don't even worry about that. The main thing is you're playing it correctly. Okay, now we're going to ascend and descend. We're going to ascend and then descend. So we're going to go from C to C. Then back from C to C. Here we go. Not too fast. I'm not going to call it the open strings. I'm just going to call out the notes, okay? Because it's assumed that you did some practicing. You paused the tutorial wherever you were not smooth. Here we go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Descending C, B, A, G. F, E, D, C, okay? Now, what you wanna do from that exercise, well, let's, let's try it one more time. Here we go. C, ascending, then descending. Here we try it again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Descending, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay. Now, um, in this exercise, we're going to ascend and descend. So, so we're going to do the same thing, but we're not going to pause. So when, when you get to the C, okay, when you go from C to C, when you get to the C, we're not going to stop. We're going we're gonna to continue on and just go back to the B and come on down. So you're going to go up, Go to the C, don't pause, come back down immediately. So in other words, it, it should sound like this. So you heard there's no pause. So let's do it together slowly. Here we go. Stay together. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, V, A, G, F, E, D, and C. Okay, now, if that was a little confusing, try it one more time. You're gonna go, you're gonna ascend and descend without any pauses. Uh, go ahead and tr pause the tutorial, try that, and then try it again with me in about a second. Go ahead. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time together. Here we go. No pauses. You're gonna turn around on the C, and go to the B as after you play it. No pauses. Okay, here we go. Not too fast. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, and C. Okay, so try that. Try to get, get that relatively smooth, okay? And then what you want to do is you, uh, it's a good practice to be able to play that uh, a little faster. Not too fast, don't worry about speed. Speed will come in time. The thing is you get the correct note. So you wanna be able to go uh, at a moderate pace. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna practice your skills just repetitively. Back and forth. And that's the goal. Okay, so, uh, and then you, you can play for as long as you want. The longer that you can play it smoothly and correctly, uh, the better for you it is, okay? But to get to that point, you gotta start like at the beginning of this tutorial, this lesson, with the ascending smoothly, ascending smoothly, ascending smoothly, descending smoothly, I'm doing it kind of fast, but I'm trying to give you the idea that you got to play the sections smoothly and correctly. Then you got to play the next section, ascend and descend with a, with a pause. Pause. 
pause, come down. Okay, and then finally when you got that smooth, then you do, it's, it's a continuous motion of the scale, up, down, without any pauses. And you, you just turn around on the C. Okay, and then you can do re repetitively. Okay, so to this point, try that. Pause the tutorial and give those a try. I'm gonna show you some techniques here in a second. Uh, before I show you these te techniques, you need to at least tr try to play the scale uh, one time smoothly, ascend and descend. Doesn't have to be fast. It, it can be as slow as this, okay? The main thing is that you're playing every note correctly. Okay, so you get the idea. It's not about speed. It's about getting the notes correct. That's the goal. Not about speed. Getting the notes correct. Okay, so I assume that you did um, what you needed. We're going to move on. Some exercising things that you can do to strengthen up your fingers and your dexterity is to use maybe your, um, oh, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll just use the, the first two fingers. So when you what what you do is the, the notes that you're you're playing, you're just kind of hammering on and pushing off. So that's that's a that's a D note and a C note together. And then you go to the second string, the F note. See, I'm using my index finger. Then you go to the G note, which is the third fret. You go to the B note, second fret, and all I'm doing is pushing on, pulling off, push on, off, hammer on, pull off, and then the finally the C note up on the third fret, bottom string, and then you use and then use your uh, um, <clears throat> your middle finger next. That's a D note. F note, G note, A, uh, uh, B note, B note open with A, open A, and finally the C note. Okay, and uh, tr tr try to do that evenly. Um, you can use your third finger, but I just noticed that if you use your third finger, you, when you get into the notes over here, you're kind of getting in the way of the keys and all, so it's, you don't have to do it in this position, it's not that important. Later on we'll do some of that when you get up the fretboard and you're, it, uh, these lower areas is not in your way. So give that a try. Uh, basically all you're doing is you're hammering on and pulling off so it looks like, like, the, like the hammer on, pull off. this does is it builds up dexterity B note dexterity in your fingers it's kind of like exercise for the fingers C note I'll switch to your index finger hammer on pull off hammer on pull off hammer on pull off next note is the G note And you're strengthening up your fingers when you're doing this exercise and really helps to kind of get the fingers limber, B note, and strengthen the fingers, finally C note, okay, and that, that helps in the, in the aid of playing your scale. Okay, so give that a try. Uh, start from the beginning, wherever you need to start again. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a uh, clear understanding on the uh, C major scale and that uh, play the notes correctly. Try not to make too many mistakes on playing the wrong notes. 
So you want to go as slow as possible playing the correct notes. Uh, so the speed that you play at is the speed that you can play the scale perfectly. If you cannot play the scale perfectly, you're going too fast. That's how you can gauge your speed. Okay? So after giving it a try and then you're ready for the next lesson, uh, we shall see you then.